hi guys welcome back again to another video thank you so much for clicking on my video if this is your first time please do not make your last subscribe so in today's video i want to quickly react to the video i saw trending on social media in case if you don't know nigeria is one of the poorest country when it comes to electricity basically we have this very poor electricity i'm going to talk about the video that i saw and how intentional Ghanaians are when it comes to their country so ghana has officially become the first african country with the largest rooftop solar plant hub in africa and the second largest in the world and in case if you're watching and you're nigerian and you don't know ghana has constant electricity what i mean constant electricity i mean 247 power supply and these guys are still very intentional about them improving in their electricity standard in the country hmm. for the past five days right now i have a lot of videos that we're going to be reacting on this video is going to be an eye opener to nigeria as a country and of course me giving Ghanaians their accolades and their flowers because they indeed deserves every bit of it in case if you don't know for the past five days now there has been this power total shutdown when it comes to power outage in the whole of lagos nigeria and being the fact that we all know that nigeria is a generator republic the four prices right now in lagos is 1200 naira being the cheapest in the country that simply means that some areas in the eastern part of the country they sell for like 1618 or thereabout and this country nigeria done nothing when it comes to improving their solar energy when i saw this video i was like wow ghana indeed is a working country without wasting much of your time let me just let you guys watch these videos with me together and see how far and how intentional these guys are beginning of this year this woman called madame yvonne ike who is the head of sub-saharan africa at the bank of america told ghana that this is the right time for ghana to reap the full potential of eight waste by recycling them and eight sun energy i think in terms of what we need to do differently we need to actualize the regional approach to solving the world's problems today from africa for africa and for the world so when i look at ghana and i see the resources that ghana has and there's some priorities that the country has in terms of being a, a regional hub for recycling, for really fueling the secular economy, and a regional hub for, 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 for and so a regional hub also for energy in terms of EV and solar charging. There's no reason why Ghana cannot, given the resources it has, like lithium, like a secure and, and more user-friendly environment for attracting foreign investment for projects and for manufacturing. Why they, well, there's, there's no reason why that shouldn't be a priority to have solar charged EV, uh, uh, stations manufactured out of Ghana. In a recent video of ours, we also talk about how Ghana sees becoming Africa's largest exporter of electricity. So they are now in the race to harness renewable energy. In fact, the country is stepping up its game. With ambitious goals and significant investments, the country is aiming to transform its energy landscape and lead the way in sustainable development. The cornerstone of this transformation is a $17 million solar rooftop project wow. in the free zone enclave in Tema. They recently wow. created it, and this project is Africa's largest solar rooftop installation, boosting a capacity of 16.8 megawatts at its peak. This project is being developed by a company called LMI Holdings Limited, and it is a significant step towards Ghana's renewable energy target. We are ushering in a new era of sustainable energy backed by innovative... Ghana products. is working, guys. Ghana is indeed so working. So it's the next and great pleasure that I stand before you to celebrate the launch of the world's second biggest single roof solar project right here in our country, Ghana. Ghana. Oh my God, I can't believe what I'm doing right now. What? Guys, guess what? I'm on the largest floating solar power plant in the whole of Africa. Wow. Guys, you should check this out. You need to check this out. The largest floating solar plant in the whole of Africa. No, 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 no. Guys, I'm going to show you the brain behind this project right here in Ghana, West Africa. Uh, with our, we are the first to do 5 megawatts solar in the whole of West Africa. We are the first to do 5 megawatts. And we saw that our engineers were up to the task. They did very well. And they did learn. This is the 5 megawatt floating solar PV power plant. It is located on the saddle dam of the Green Power Authority. Here in we the Green Power Authority is a power generation company, and a Green Power Authority generates electricity from hydro and solar. We have a 50 megawatt land-based solar system and a 5 megawatt floating solar facility. A 
as you can see already here. The good news is that compared to the land-based solar facility, the floating solar is about 15 to 90 percent more efficient than the land base. You can see there are no dust on the panels as compared to the land-based floating solar where you have to be cleaning the panels regularly. My I'm going to pause this video but i'll play it shortly because i saw this particular video made by a nigerian the person was like ghanians are bragging that they have floating um solar that nigerians also have land even the one way bigger than that of ghana and ghanians meanwhile let's continue watching this video and then i'm also going to play where a nigerian was seen bragging that see whatever thing ghanians think they have nigerians even have way more like is that necessary <laughs> listen to the advantages of the floating one then you're going to compare it to the advantages advantages of the land because as this guy speaks the advantages of the floating floating um solar generates more energy than land this is when a country is thinking deep this is a country that has seen the future they've foreseen the future and they want to be in the future nigerians are still talking about the fact that they are bragging that they have land located in kaduna not in part of the country well keep watching the water underneath it provides a cooler temperature. Exactly. So the temperature of the panels is reduced. The exactly. Of the solar power plant. Another advantage, guys. The base as it is, these solar systems have a bifacial facility. So the reflection of the sun on the water back to the base of the solar plant also generates more electricity. So we are getting more value for money. Another great point, guys. Most of the fingernails added advantage so you can see this is no other place than Ghana between the Kodo and the Savannah region this and other renewable projects are going to help Ghana to generate over 3,000 megawatts. So they are taking substantial steps towards their goal of net zero emission by 2060. Ghana's vision includes not just this solar rooftop project, but also plans to add nearly 1,200 megawatts of renewable energy through various projects by LMI Holdings. This map right here is the northern part of Ghana. And according to experts, the northern part of Ghana has a higher potential for solar energy generation due to its sunlight intensity, clear skies, and eight large open spaces. So the government is planning to distribute 2,000 megawatts of solar power mainly across the northern part of the country. Collaboration is key here. So the government is working closely with the Volta River Authority, We Power Authority, and the Grid Company of Ghana to ensure these projects come to fruition. Project sites have been identified and visibility studies are underway. A great impact assessment is being conducted to ensure seamless integration of these renewable sources into the national grid. This wow. initiative is being supported by the private sector and it is a crucial for the successful implementation of solar and wind projects. Government can make regulation easier. Government can provide some funding, but the biggest funding can must by all means come from the private sector. And this project signals a lead and tells the private sector the role that you have to play to support government in achieving the vision of 10% renewable energy sources in our mix by 2030. The solar rooftop project is expected to significantly reduce Ghana's emissions by approximately 10,000 tons of CO2 equivalent annually. So, what does this mean for the beautiful country, Ghana? Well, the benefits are manifold. Increased renewable energy capacity will reduce manifold. reliance on fossil fuel, cut greenhouse gas emissions, and create jobs. The Tama project alone is part of a broader 30 wow. million clean power and water investment that supports jobs creation and promotes greener... Did, did you guys hear that? What, what, as in which other Ghana way? to have 10% of its energy mix come from renewable sources. Wow. It's not just about meeting targets, but about creating a sustainable future for the nation. I should also talk about the impact that this project has on industry. The impact, well, too. Is coming from the Ministry of Trade and Industry. I, more than anyone, The impact, stroke, guys. Cost of power in industry, uh, in being competitive in manufacturing and in production. What you have done in helping to contribute to power distribution here in this country and of course because solar over time has reduced um, costs in the mix you are helping to power industry and you're helping industry to also reach their green credential something that puts them in the right step globally in helping to attract more investment to their business mm -hmm. course, you're also helping to impact positively cost of production for these business something that dovetails directly into job creation and helping to improve the standard of living of our people. Our government is 
equally proud of you for that achievement. With the combined I am so the proud of you guys. And international partners, Ghana is on its way to a greener and more prosperous future. future of course. Energy journey is a testament to what can be achieved with vision, collaboration, and commitment. As the nation steps toward its goals, it sets another inspiring example for others to follow. Exactly. See, let me say something. Ghana leads, others follow. If that makes sense, Ghanaians leads, others follow, including Nigerians. Is the fact that these guys can actually boast of 24 hours electricity and yet i understand the fact that you still have a lot of things in the country not just electricity but we all know that the par the primary should i say the paramount is it's generate generating uh, electricity in the country Let me show you guys a video where a nigerian was literally bragging that uh, if you think you guys have floating that we nigerian <laughs> nigerians have land which is videos and proofs watch this video as we all know say Ghanaians don't they drag us for some time now, saying then get this uh, floating solar panel, solar panel, mm -hmm. which uh, is giving them five megawatts. Now Nigeria don't unveil our own, although our own will be floating on our own. They on on top solid ground. So, solid this ground. For University of Medjugorje. This is going to give us twelve megawatts. Can you compare the two? Ghanians, they could not know. They could not know. They disrespect us again. No. respect your other brothers. This one are just five megawatts. Hmm? Get that. Hmm. My people, you guys have heard now. A Nigerian kept bragging that the fact that Nigeria can boast of 12 megawatts, while Ghana can boast of five. Can you compare solar? You heard what this guy said, and I made emphasis on the the when the man was talking about the lot of advantages. You know, versus disadvantages of floating and he said that floating generates more so this guy is capping there's no way your land will be giving you 12 mm while Ghanaian will be giving them 5 mm and this one is in the university of Medjugorje. like is it, is it is it serious i would like to know what you guys think in the comment but to be very honest with the way we all know that a typical nigerian survives in a, in a generator that means the way the fuel prices are being increased or should i say keeps increasing the cost of fuel and being the fact that we don't have electricity, so literally everyone works with generator. So that means everything will be on the rise. Both food, transportation, importation, medical facilities, because even if you go to the hospital, so you're going to meet them using generator. So it is actually a smart move for Ghanaians to be intentional. I know this, this, this country is working. I'm not surprised. But when I got tagged, I tagged, I got tagged so many times on this video. I was like, see, the earlier I come out here to share with you guys, the better. Like, I was like, wow. I was wowed, guys. I was literally wowed. It's the fact that these guys are intentional. Like, the largest floating solar plant in the whole of Africa, built by young Ghanaian engineers. And in case if I didn't mention, these things were built by young engineers Ghanaian engineers and they, they one of the things also i love about Ghanaians is that they try to catch them young imagine what these guys would do when they grow up younger engineers built this built this guys i don't know if i'm capping am i capping let me know what you guys think in the comments in the meantime let me just end it here because the more i keep talking the more it's more like i'm ranting so this is what i saw if you're Ghanaian watching, keep dropping the flag down the comments. You guys deserve all the flowers. You guys deserve all the accolades. Ghana is a working country. You might not be where you want to be, where you wish to be, but you guys are better than a lot of countries. Like, a lot of countries. You guys are way better than a lot of countries in Africa, even in the world. Because as I speak right now, Ghana is competing with the world. They're not even competing with Africans. You guys, they are not competing with any other country but themselves and being, being the fact they're competing by yourself or should i say competing within yourselves you would always want to be a better version of yourself i would like to know what you guys think down in the comment is this your first time coming across my face thank you so much for sticking around with me so please you can support my channel by clicking on the join button so that you become a member this helps my channel to grow basically with just a token thank you guys once again for watching and i will see you all soon in my next video stay happy be kind and be blessed bye guys